if we get Payne and Smith in free agency, I'd be in heaven. I agree, Jeff Berg. Those are the two guys I am looking at in, in free agency. Now, when the season's over, I'll jump and do a deep dive into free agents. You know, I'll do a free agent video. I'll go over, you know, what the price tag will be for each free agent. You know, what they're rated and all that. And then I'll give you what I think the Lions should target. I love doing those videos. I love seeing the options the Lions could have. And uh, we'll go from there. I'm sure there'll be some rumors out there. Joseph Murdoch loves my rumors video. He's like, he, he goes, I am, what, what did you call, what do you call me? The uh, tabloids or something uh, of YouTube. But yeah, I'll, 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 anything that comes out there with information, I'll put it out there and we'll, we'll have for you. We get 104 in the build with 30 likes. Smash that like button. Let's get to 50 likes. 5-0. I think we can do that. A stud cornerback, 100%. I think they could go free agent cornerback route too as well. I agree with you, Dr. Detroit. That could absolutely be an option because sometimes it takes rookies a little bit time to adjust. And we're trying to win the NFC North next year, so maybe they decide to go free agent cornerback, spend a little bit of money there and draft a guy and just absolutely solidify this spot. And if Jeff Okuda starts to fall off or another player starts to fall off, you can take that rookie who you drafted and bring them in there. I agree with you. They could go that route. They could. Ramsey, ah, he's falling off a cliff, man. I think he's on the downturn. He's going to cost a lot of money. And I just, now, Brad Holmes knows him. He knows him more than we do. He obviously was with him. Would he be a distraction in the locker room? Well, if the Lions bring him in, obviously not. But uh, I think he's starting to fall off a cliff a little bit. I think he is. I, I'd probably steer away from that. Hashtag Goff. Let's see. Does Dubs plays or stays? Draft a quarterback. Good business. I have no... Or does Goff stay? Um, let's see. Uh, he's going to stay for sure. He's going to be here next year, no doubt about it. But I have no problem drafting a quarterback to back up role and uh, to develop. I have absolutely no problem with that. Um, but he he's earned to be back next year. Jared Goff has earned it. He's not the most spectacular guy to look at. He's not the, the greatest player in the league. He's not going to blow you up. But he, all he's done is done a good job. That's it. All you can ask for him is do what he's doing. I don't need to I don't need him to be Matthew Stafford right now. I don't need him to be an all-out player. We got players around him to do that. But I need I I but I do need a defense. I do want to have a defense that's stout that can win you games when you know sometimes you're not having a good game a game from offense. Defenses can travel. I want a defense. We've not had a defense since 2014. It's time. It's time to build a defense in Detroit. We have an opportunity with a lot of draft picks, four in the first two rounds. Let's build that defense up. And then maybe a, a running back or something in the second round, something like that. Does our defense hit somebody this week instead of flag football? I think they're going to hit John Ball. I think they're going to I think they're going to hit um I think they're going to hit him very very hard. I, we're, again, I was talking with her. The video will be dropped on LNU tomorrow, but and on my personal channel. I think they're going to come out with a rage, and I think that's important. I think it's important that they come out very strong to build their own confidence back and to understand that you're not just a team. You're a good team. And going to that Packers game with a little motivation, I think it's really important. Because it's a going to be a giant game week 18. National Enquirer for the Lions. Always good stuff. Absolutely. Hey, got, hey someone's got to do it. Might as well be me. I didn't see the ejection. Did not see it. Hashtag smash the hole. I think we should get Darius Slay back. Him and Akuda. Um, wouldn't, it, wouldn't it be fitting to bring Darius Slay back? Big play Slay. I don't know what his contract is over at Philadelphia now. Um, but I think he's probably there next year. I'm just assuming. I don't think he's a free agent. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. But, it, I, hey, I wouldn't be opposed to bringing him back. Big play slate. We drafted him. Come back home. Come back home. Got to get the running back to what it was the beginning of the year. Great. Oh, Craig, great, great comment here. I agree. 
we have to run the football and get back to what we are, is a team that is physical. At the line of scrimmage, a physical run team. Jamal Williams is a physical back. DeAndre Swift, you got to hit the holes. We got to do all these things. And that's an identity. Let's get our identity back. The last two weeks, we've lost that identity running the football. Now, I love offense. But I, and I love the pass game, but I love physical football. That's what we need to get back to. That's it. Get back to what you are in the NFC North, a physical team, because we got to be physical week 18. It's going to be cold as hell in Green Bay. And best believe the fans are going to be going ape over there. And we got to we get back to our identity of being a physical team. And it helps out the whole team. Bears are pissed too. Yeah, they are. They're. I'm sure they're mad. But man, they. They. I'm telling you, the talent is, and they're so injured. If you you see their injury report, it's ridiculous. I mean, everybody's injured. Like the whole the whole offense. They got two guards injured. Their two starting wide receivers are injured. Like I know, Justin Fields is their whole offense, and he's it. Yeah, he he probably not leave Jumbo. I, I, I don't know. Like I said, I didn't know his contract. I'm sure he's happy over there. I mean, they're winning. They're having fun. Jamal injury, serious? I don't think it's serious. I haven't heard anything to the contrary. Um, out of, I expect him to play on Sunday, 100%. The question is for running backs, is Craig Reynolds going to be back on Sunday? Because he got taken off, what, two weeks ago for the 21-day window. Will he be back? On Sunday. I'd like to see him back. Be a good time to have him back in the rotation. Um, so I like what he does. Goff is great to play action, but doesn't work when you can you can't run. That's his that's his downfall. Is he he's not a mobile quarterback. I agree with you, D's nuts. And I personally love the mobile quarterback. I am more of the dual threat quarterback. That is me. That's my preference of quarterback. I like how you have the ability to run. No, nah, no, nah, don't make it run first. Not at all. But just mobile like a Patrick Mahomes. Not necessarily like, you know, a Lamar Jackson where it's, I, I like Lamar Jackson, but he runs a little bit more. But it doesn't have to be like that. Aaron Rodgers in his prime. He was mobile, get out of the pocket, run around a little bit, then extend the play. That's what I like. But Jared Goff played really good this year. I ain't taken away from him. Just because he's not my favorite type of quarterback doesn't mean he doesn't deserve to be here next year. He absolutely does. And I'm I'm very happy for him personally. Like, if you look at it not even from a football standpoint, from a personal standpoint. We all hate the word standpoint. Thank you, Pat Matricia. But this guy was disregarded over there in L.A., the whole media crapped on this guy. He says he's the worst quarterback ever. And he comes to Detroit to a losing team where his reputation was destroyed with no chance to win last year. Then, this is again from, from, from personal-wise, he comes in this year where they weren't given much of a chance, leading the Lions offense to a top-five offense in many categories. Had a rebound year. He's not complaining. He's not injured. He's just doing his job. I love it, man. You know, and so I like seeing that type of stuff. So he deserves it from what he's doing. What he's doing. Lions should draft a strong safety. This is the this is an interesting position that you bring up here. Absolutely intriguing that you bring this up because are they actually going to do this? Because if you look at Tracy Walker, he's obviously, we re-signed him a three-year deal, and Kirby Joseph. But would they look to upgrade more? I don't know. I don't think they'd be looking for a starter. I think it'd be more of a backup role. But that's it. That's one, that, that is an X factor. Now, again, I, I don't expect them to address safety significantly early, whether it be the draft or in free agency. I'd like them to re-sign Deshaun Elliott, potentially, if you'd like to come back for, you know, the same role that he was in this year. 
But uh, that's an in, that's a that's a big old question mark. I've debated back and forth with the guys behind the scene on the safety position. Will they do something like this? Because it's not necessarily a position of need, but it's also not necessarily a sh- major strength. It's like in that middle category. So we'll see on that one. Good, good, good thought, though. Good, good thought on this bad boy. 122 in the chat. We got 41 likes. Nine more likes to 50. I get it. It's holiday season. Not everybody's paying attention. And, uh, hey, make sure you spend time with the family next couple days. Enjoy your time off. Forget time off. But, hey, if you can help push that content out there, it does help out the channel on LNU. I don't think Goff's a bad quarterback, but he's not. He But he's on a hot streak now. That hot streak will stop. Grab a quarterback with the first round. Okay. Timothy wants to get a quarterback in the first round. And now I don't necessarily completely agree there. Um, I'm not anger at your, your thoughts there. I, I it's totally understood. You have a right to your opinion, Timothy, and... I'm glad you you put it out there. Now it all depends. Like I'm I'm always BPA, pretty much regardless of position. The problem I have is I feel Bryce Young is a bona fide number one quarterback. After that, it falls off a little bit. When you look at Will Levis, I have I don't believe he. I wouldn't draft him. <laughs> I wouldn't draft him in the, probably in the first round. He really scares the hell out of me. When you look at him, he's not produced. Okay? C.J. Stroud, he's not mobile. Does he have a better arm than Jared Goff? I guess you could say so. But he's not mobile. Is he that like if is he that much of an upgrade over Jared Goff in if he was, say, four or five years in the NFL? Not really. I probably want to draft him. <laughs> 